here at home, hundreds gathered in Westwood to show their support for the protests in Egypt. Eyewitness News reporter Leanne Suter is live outside the federal building where the large group came out to demonstrate. Leanne? And on a massive show of solidarity today here in Westwood, and even though the protesters are thousands of miles away from the conflict, they want to make sure their voices are heard. United in their demand for democracy, protesters join forces in front of the federal building. I'm here for the Egyptian people. I'm here for anyone who um, is, getting oppre is being oppressed. I came here to support uh, uh, all the Arab countries that are now under dictatorships. And uh, it's important to, uh, to show them that we are with them. Nearly 300 strong from all different faiths and backgrounds, all showing their support for their counterparts in Egypt, calling for President Hazi Mubarak to step down. He needs to go. Mubarak needs to go. We need a new government, a new democratic model of government that's going to pay attention to the rights of the people. For those with family caught in the chaos, there is great concern as all communication has been cut off. They are very worried. Um, I wasn't able to reach them today, but so I'm, I'm very worried as well. Well, most here understand Egypt is a pivotal if flawed U.S. ally. And there's much at stake. Israel's security to the war on terrorism to the stability of the Suez Canal. They say Mubarak's ouster will be the key to a better future. This is the roadmap to, to fight the terrorism. Stop supporting these puppet dictators. Now, protesters here say they're going to continue to show their support for the protesters in Egypt. Another rally is planned for tomorrow in front of the Egyptian consulate. Live in Westwood, Lee Yam Suter, ABC7 I1.